Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. All righty, got a Monday morning, 13th of September. Morning, Laura. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you, Hack? I'm doing well. I know you've been busy, 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 but all kinds of great things going on at Bristol Community College. And one of the things we want to kick around this morning is uh, the new Student Success Center. Tell us a bit about that and, uh, and uh, how it's helping kids. Yeah, thanks for asking, Hack. You know, it's um, been quite a year and a half through the pandemic, and obviously, you know, many students have had to stop out to work, to support their family, to take care of their health. Um, and we really have a number of students who, after leaving the college, are really confused about how they get back in and how does this all work. And so our, our Student Success Center has recently been launched with some wonderful coaches uh, a staff uh, who is there to help to identify students that have had to stop out, to engage them, re-engage them, and to help them with all the barriers that they, they may be facing. So, you know, it's not just getting back into school, right? It's all the other things that come with it, like, well, now, you know, maybe I lost my child care, or how will transportation work in the pandemic, and all these different things. So this is a really very cool way for us to create this special center, and, um, and we'll be working with students just step by step to keep them uh, on track and uh, to help them with the forms that they need to fill out, uh, any policies. You know, as colleges and universities, we have our bureaucracies. We have to have some systems in place. Students don't always know how to re-enroll. So we'll be helping them with their financial aid and uh, advising and, you know, all of those different things. All right. So now this program, is it underway right now? Is it something that you're starting up in the, uh, later in the fall, or is it something folks can access, uh, kids uh, can access right now? They can access it right now. And if they go to the website, bristolcc.edu backslash student success center, they can learn more about it uh, and figure out how they can connect. Uh, but we'll also be calling all of our students who uh, who had to stop out. Across the nation, heck, we lost about 12,000 community college students in the pandemic. Um, and at Bristol, we, we did better than that. We uh, we lost about 8% of our students. And that, so that's still a lot of students. And, um, you know, our students have their dreams, and we want them to achieve those dreams. And, you know, we're very thankful uh, that we received funding for this program, uh, not just federal funding, but local funding here in Massachusetts through the Success Fund. And, um, you know, we have, uh, have to thank our local legislators, our lo local delegation, as well as our Washington delegation uh, for their support so you know this is just really important for us as we as we look to the future that we bring these students back yeah this is certainly a money well spent I don't think you can deny that N absolutely you know it's, you know, this has been such a hard time for everyone, right? We, we, every day we're making new decisions every day. We're trying to, f re, you know, figure out how to navigate the world. And, you know, we've had, you know, just so many challenges and certainly mental health challenges are included. And right now everybody needs an advocate, a coach, a friend, you know, somebody who's not going to let you fall through the cracks, somebody who's going to be there for every question you may have. And, you know, sometimes we all think, oh, that's a stupid question. I can't ask that question, but no question is stupid when it comes to coming back to college. We really need to help our students with every need they have. You know, you know, I'm thinking, uh, Laura, I was talking to uh, Joanne Bentley this morning, and I know you were doing something, uh, some fun stuff, I guess, with those uh, yellow markings uh, over the weekend. What was it near the tennis court? So you, you're, you're coming up with a new, uh, uh, some new activity. Oh, yeah, we redid our tennis court so you can still, you can play tennis, but you can also play pickleball. <laughs> um, so, you know, yes, we're always thinking about ways that our students can be on our campus safely and um, attend to their wellness, whether it's their physical health or um, or their mental health. Yeah, so, um, yeah, lots going on to try to help students with everything that they need. You know, and you think back, you've, you've, kind, of, you've kind of been the, at the hub of lots of, uh, lots of activity, including, I know you're still doing 
going, you're still doing COVID testing. Oh, absolutely. Um, so uh, the Stop the Spread CIC uh, uh, unit is in our parking lot. It's over by our tennis courts in the Fall River campus. It's open uh, for, for testing. Uh, you can go and access that through mass.gov, uh, COVID-19 testing sites, and sign up. Uh, that's where I go and uh, get my testing regularly just to make sure I'm staying healthy. I have an immune-compromised mom, so I certainly don't want to pass anything on to her, even though I'm fully vaccinated. Um, and I encourage other people to do the same. And here on campus, we continue to do uh, testing for our own students. Uh, we have a lot of really excellent protocols in place. And we've been so lucky through the entire pandemic, thanks to just really great di diligence on air quality and wearing masks and, uh, um, and using surveillance testing. We have no evidence of any transmissions happening at any of our locations. Oh, man, so, that's great. So that's good. So, you know, students who are worried about their health really, really need to know that it's safe. Um, and we'll be there, you know, to help them um, as they as they return to campus. And we have a basic, these are some other things I think that are really important, Heck, We have a basic needs center to help students if they need food, if they need emergency money for electricity. We have a care team uh, which evaluates needs of students. Uh, we have emergency funding available. We have counseling services. We have health services, which are really important. And then, you know, specialized services like our multicultural center, our women's center, our veteran center. We have a lot of very spop special populations and as you know, Bristol Community, Bristol County has one of the highest numbers of uh, veterans in our in our in our Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So lots of support systems, but our Student Success um, Center is so key. We cannot afford to lose a generation of workers because they stopped out of school for the pandemic. So uh, please, uh, all your all the listeners out there, if you would encourage people to come to Bristol, come back to Bristol. We need a qualified, strong, well-trained workforce to ensure that our community will be strong and vibrant. All right, boy. Well put. Thank you very much. Uh, President uh, of Bristol Community College, Laura Douglas, every, everybody is doing well in your family. You're having, you had a good summer, and now it's, uh, now it's we're into the real deal with kids, uh, students all back to school. We've had a great summer. You know, we're very cautious, like most people are, and, you know, that always plays well with good health. When you've got your health, you've got a lot. So uh, that's really what we've been focused on, and everyone staying healthy, and I hope you have, too. Yeah, thank you, Laura, very much. I appreciate it. You have a great uh, month of September. We'll talk to you in October. All right. Stay well, Heck. You, too. Take care.